Hey, what's up guys? This is Terabyte, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. So, we completed this one. <gasps> what? Where are we going? Well, now that we're free to walk around the moon as we see fit. It's because we're headed to that crystal palace thingy. And, uh... And the only way to get there... Uh, is to park all the way. It's like when you go to your friend's house and there's no possible way to get to the apartment. You have to park, like, on the street, down the block, and around the corner. And then walk back. Yeah, it's like that. I get it. You're doing a thing. But it's... <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's a way of extending this area instead of just letting you park right on the crystal castle and go fucking right there. Um, yeah. No! Oh, you guys are okay. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, yeah, can't go that way. Dicks. Yeah, I guess this is a way of extending this area, but... Hmm. I wonder if this is the right one. Well. Where is my... Ah! Cottage. Sleep. Sleep. Ooh. The Eastern Lunar Tunnel. It's all tunnely. Oh, you guys. No! Don't poison my people! <clears throat> the fuck? The fuck? The fuck is wrong with you people? That's not too bad. Stardust. And more of these fucking antidotes! Stupid burger fritter cigar. All right. Stop it. Let's see. How far can we go? How far can we go in this game? How far can we go? Stop poisoning my people. 
Fuckers are annoying! Come on! Get him! Yeah! Okay. So no! I forgot about that! Forgot about that! Okay, so I don't have like 50 antidotes, so sue me. Alright. Lunar East. Luna East. Bastards. I hate you all. I don't know, just kill the damn thing. I'm about to waste magic on this shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, using magic is faster and it's actually what you're supposed to do. But, you know. Yeah, we made it! Crystal Palace. I wonder if we'll meet the Moon Princess. That'd be cool. Moon Princess? Sailor Moon? Anyone? No? Okay. Lunar Princess? Lunar Mooner Princess. Anybody? Is there anybody here besides gross blobby monsters and like these weird uh, floating bone <laughs> fucking monsters? There's gotta be somebody! Gotta be! What's over here? I wanna know. That's a warpy. I don't wanna go on the warpy yet. Well, maybe I do. Oh, it's a Healy. Sweet. Who's in here? At last, you've arrived. Who are you? I am Fusoya. I am charged with watching over the slumber of the Lunarians. Fusoya. Lunarian. Lunarians? Yes, we. The people of the moon. Long ago, the world lay between the, the world that lay between the red planet and the great behemoth stood at the very at the verge of destruction, both terrible and complete. The last survivors of that devastation boarded a ship and escaped to the blue planet. Blue planet, the one you call home. Earth. But your planet was still in the midst of its evolution, you see, and so those. These travelers created a second moon for the planet, and there they settled into a long and quiet slumber. And they're the ones you call the Lunarians, indeed. But there was one among us who was loath to sleep. He thought it fit that we should simply raise all existing life on the blue planet and claim it as our own. That's horrible! Yeah. So I used my powers to force him into hibernation with the others. But as he slept, his will grew stronger and took on a conscientious conscientiousness all on its own. It reached out to men with tainted hearts on your planet, twisting them into beings yet darker still. And through them, he began to gather the crystals. So he was manipulating Galbez! Does this guy have a name? His name is Zemus. The crystals function as a source of energy, you see. I fear he has gathered them in order to activate the interdimensional elevator within the Tower of Babel. With it, he will be able to transport the Giant of Babel to your planet and use it to extinguish all life there. Oh no! But do not be mistaken, his will is not that of all we Lunarians. 
The rest of us have been waiting, pa uh, waiting quietly for your planet's people to progress to such a point that we might treat one, treat with one, uh, one another as equals. But wait and sleep, dreaming of that day. And the lunar whale? Where'd it come from? Ah, the ship. My younger brother, Kluya, built the vessel long ago and flew it to the blue planet. He took with him several of our secrets, such as the ones employed in your Devil's Road and airships, a gift to your people. Kluya was fascinated by your planet and wished to know more of it. And while he was there, he fell in love with a woman of your planet. She later bore him two children. One of them was you. What? Me. Then, that voice I heard on Mount or at Mor Mount Ordeals, blah, 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 was the spirit of your father. Indeed, you are the very image of Kluya in his youth. So it was my father. He vested you with his power so that you might prevent Zemus's plot from coming to fruition. Zemus must be stopped for your planet's sake and for that of my people as well. We must hurry to the Tower of Babel near Eblon. The tower? It's protected by some kind of barrier now. There's no way in. I should be able to bypass the barrier. We must not let the giant of Babel be unleashed upon your world. The Lunarian Fusoya joined the party. Well then, so basically what you're saying is that Cecil is some sort of strange moon man. Where's this go? To the out? We are the Lunar Crystals. The Lunarians rest deep beneath your feet, bound in a dream-filled sleep. Fusoya is their guardian charged with preserving the tranquility of their slumber. We eight crystals form the seal that binds Zemus in his sleep. Good to know. Zemus has erected a barrier from within his prison, sealing off the moon's core. It's kind of dick. The moon is sustained by the delicate balance that exists between us and the eight crystals of the blue planet. The panel at our center is a transporter that leads to the moon's core, where Zemus is imprisoned. Zemus used Golbez as his pawn to gather together the blue planet's crystals. He then amplified their power by means of the Tower of Babel. Zemus is possessed of a fearsome will. Even sealed within the bowels of the moon, his evil pulses with a life all of its own. So yeah, he's a dick. Basically, they're telling you, this is an area you shouldn't go into yet. So, stop it! I'm just like, alright, fine. I'm still exploring, though. MP restored. Sweet! So, uh, yeah. Cecil's a crazy moon man. Oh, wait. That's where we want to go. Alright. So, uh, Cecil's a crazy moon man, and, uh, we have to go back. We have to go back to Earth to stop them from using the tower to contact some giant mech. That's going to destroy the earth. Okay. In any case. Um, I'm going to leave this episode right here. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>